The drunk driver who killed a Lyft rider and seriously hurt his friend now knows just how many years she will spend behind bars. Our tenders reporter Rena Nakano explains the family of Alondra Marquez begged the judge to give her a lighter sentence. I miss you, sis. Family of Alondra Marquez tearfully addresses the court pleading for a lighter sentence. Everyone deserves a second chance. I honestly wouldn't know how to act, but please. Don't take it out on my sister. A stark difference to last week's impact statements. Victim Jiao Pham's life partner, John Lawhead, shouting to Marquez. So your actions that night took my partner, my world, my everything. On March 23rd, 40-year-old Jiao Pham was visiting from San Francisco to attend a friend's wedding. That night, he and his friend Andy Lin were drinking at a bar in Hillcrest, then took a lift home. Alondra Marquez, ironically, was at the same bar. Before leaving, prosecutors say two of her friends tried to stop her from driving home. She also had both the Lyft and Uber apps on her phone, but she got behind the wheel of her new Lexus anyway and crashed into Pham's lift. She was driving 109 miles an hour on the 163 where the speed limit is 55. Pham died while Lynn suffered a traumatic brain injury. Marquez was taken to the hospital and released into custody three days later. Marquez claimed she had absolutely no recollection of the crash. Although I don't remember, I know I realized that I really messed up. Clearly, I took someone's life, unfortunately. God, I just want you guys to know that I didn't do it on purpose, but I'm sorry. I know you guys are hurting. In the end, the judge handed down the maximum sentence. An accident is something that's not avoidable. This was avoidable. The maximum sentence this court could have given was 13 years, four months, and that's what she gave this defendant, which is an extraordinary, in my opinion, outcome. Rena Nakano, 10 News.